And tonight is Broadway's big night, the Tony Awards. CBS 2's Dana Tyler has been giving us a preview of the nominees over the past few weeks. This morning she talks with Neil Patrick Harris, the first time Tony nominee who is no stranger to the award show. And now we're bigger. For the past four years, actor Neil Patrick Harris sang, danced, and happily hyped Broadway as host of the Tony Awards. Hi. I'm sort of the TV guy that's like, hey, America, watch these shows. So now, a year later, to be in one of those said shows that's doing really well has been just a blast. Harris is nominated as Hedvig, a transgender performer from East Berlin who had a botched sex change operation. In the revival of Hedvig and the Angry Inch, what a double take from the alpha male womanizer he played for the past nine years on How I Met Your Mother. This, my friends, is the playbook. Playing Barney Stinson required a level of fearlessness that I don't really possess as Neil, but as an actor, he had to possess because he was sort of a fifth wheel, guns a blazing guy that wanted a crazy adventure. And that plays into Hedvig's life. She's fearless. She's like a shooting star that's, that she's terrified that that light is going to extinguish. The three-time Emmy Award winner says while wrapping up the TV series last year, he started to prepare to play Hedvig, changing his workout routine, diet, and eventually losing 20 pounds, plus getting used to putting his more feminine figure into custom high heels. We started early uh, in LA figuring out how to stand, how to walk, how to squat, how to sit, because you forget that you have to do all of those things in addition to the dance numbers. He says he studied the history of Germany and punk rock, but says at first rehearsals were overwhelming. I was just having to think about 25 things about singing like a rock person and not like a musical theater person about did someone say something and what do I, how do I say it back and what's the next line and what well, is my accent in check and, and how's my posture? Like you're just thinking of so many things simultaneously and you never leave the stage as Hedvig. And, uh, and it's all kind of settling nicely now. So nicely, the revival is nominated for eight Tony Awards. Audiences see, as the story goes, Hedvig's one night only show. Harris says his Tony Awards hosting skills help him as Hedvig as she performs in hopes of winning over a guy, a guy she believes makes her whole. And that is a sad idea to believe that you will only be a real complete person if uh, circumstances are different. Hedvig takes out her lack of self-worth on Yitzhak, her servant and roadie, played by first-time Tony nominee Lena Hall. I am floating on air for myself, for the whole company, for the whole the whole production. This is just the be-all end all. This is amazing. <laughs> She's the other half of this double take duo. It's a bit shocking. People don't know it's me. They're looking for a girl, but I do play a biological man um, from Croatia who was the greatest drag queen of all time, and I had to give it up in order to come to the States and be with Hedwig. Yitzhak and Hedwig's love-hate relationship so far has only been seen by audiences inside Broadway's Belasco Theater. That's until tonight's Tony Awards, broadcast on CBS. I love more than anything that millions of people will get to see a performance from Hedwig in the Angry Inch. We haven't performed it on talk shows, and so this will be, I think, the only time that people will see her perform a number outside of the Velasco. And will Harris and his partner David Burka make another red carpet statement as they did at the Met Ball, wearing tuxedos designed by Tom Brown? You don't wear those outfits on a red carpet to a movie. <laughs> <laughs> you wear it when you're going to the Met Ball or in a Cirque du Soleil show. <laughs> And so we wore them with pride, and it was super fun. He and Burka and their nearly four-year-old twins now call New York home. The Tony nominee says he's having the time of his life with his first Broadway role in a decade. What would it mean to win? It would be so surreal. It's always been something that I had desired, but never been something I was hungry for. And so really choosing Hedvig as a role wasn't for accolades or for any kind of award. It was really to show that Hey, everybody, I've been doing Barney Stinson, and I'm also capable of doing this other thing. From early on, he was involved in the hiring of the production. Harris will have his blue nail-polished fingers crossed for everyone. These are my children yeah. in my own weird head wiggy way. Yeah. So if I win, it would be crazy and fun, and it would be great on a mantle. If they win, I will feel so proud of the work that they've done.
We all find out tonight who wins Broadway's coveted Tony Awards. Tony winner Hugh Jackman returns as host of the Tony Awards, broadcast live from Radio City Music Hall, starting tonight, 8 o'clock, right here on CBS2. Back to you. Dana, thank you. And we have extended interviews with many of the nominees on our website. Log on to CBSNewYork.com and click on the video tab. Dana's done so many, and there's so many musicals and plays on my list now to see. Well, it just keeps reminding me how behind the eight ball I, I am know. on all of this. I don't think I've seen any of this year's musical nominees, despite absolutely loving Broadway musicals. So I need to get on it. But yeah. I'm very excited to see Hugh Jackman mm -hmm. in all of his glory tonight. Tonight on CBS at 8 o'clock. Don't forget.